So welcome back people, new adventure today. So where am I? Langston Harbour, that's where I am. Hailing Ferry Pontoon, Langston, sorry, Portsmouth side. So what am I doing today? Well, I'm out today with our fishing section's chairman to do a bit of sand dealing. So what are we doing? Are we sailing or are we trawling? We're trawling. So we're going to do a bit of trawling for sand deal. So uh, we're going to pop on his boat and uh, hopefully get some sand deals. Hopefully some crabs for me as well for some smooth hounds. So that would be top dollar. And uh, yeah, so the boat is uh, Sportsman's Night, charter skipper in Langston Harbour. Real great guy, real great skipper, real character this one. Well worth jumping on his charter. So if you get the chance, jump on this guy's charter and get out there. He's a real character, he'll not be bored, and uh, an absolute expert in bass fishing this guy is. So the boat, his name is Sportsman's Night. I will put it in the description along with uh, contact details as well. So he's just going out there to go and get his boat off the mooring, which is, uh, let's see if I can see it. So where is it on the camera? So it's out there, the yellow cabin boat. So he's just, say, just popping out there to go and get it in his dinghy, which is down there. And uh, yeah, so I'll bring you back, hopefully some sand deals and live ones.
Well, here we are, guys and girls. We're on the back of the boat. There's the net in the distance there. <coughs> so, as you can see, the net, the live bait tank just there. We've got the otter boards just there. And the net is all laid out very nicely, ready to shoot. You can see all laid out, no tight lines anywhere. All, all laid out very nice, ready for the shoot. All very slow and methodical, so we've got no problems of anyone getting tangled up in any ropes. And uh, it won't be long, and we'll be putting the trawl in the water. I'll just sort of show you the, the, the live bait tank. Quite a big tank, this one. There's a few v v down there already, but you probably can't see it on the camera. Sorry about the engine noise. I'll try and keep the uh, speaking up as much as you can so you can hear me. So they're shooting the net now. Cod end's going over. So they're just sorting the net out so it goes out quite nicely, there's no tangles. As you can see the ropes are starting to go out now and they're splaying out. The otter boards are going to be positioned ready to go and the otter boards splay the net out so it doesn't bunch up. There they go, the boards are in, the ropes are just still going out. Making sure that the net goes out and no tangles. Now as you can see the ropes are going out quite nicely. <coughs> and that's happening both sides of the boat. You can see in the distance the net with the boys. The ropes are just getting taut and that's it. You can feel the boat take a bit of a slow as it pulls up the slack and now pulling up the weight. You put a bit more revs on the engine just to get the, the speed right for the net and uh, the net splays out. So you got one rope on that cleat and one on that cleat there and as you can see both lines now are out quite nicely so we'll be towing for a little bit now and hopefully we'll bag some sand eels. So here we are, 
There's the skipper, Mr. Pete Keelshaw. Absolute fabulous guy. A bit of a character, this one. Pete, give, give us a lowdown about your career in this game. Well, fishing all my life. Um, bass fishing all my life. And uh, before this boat, then the, uh, the fast boat, we used to uh, bass fish, obviously. And we used to catch the eels down here with the beach sign. And uh, many years ago, I thought, well, there's got to be an easier way of doing this. And we searched it. Some guys around the country were catching eels with, with their trawl. And here we are. So we're catching the eels. Now, these will be graded. A lot will be frozen down if we have a good catch. Uh, for the winter bait and the surplus we put in the keep our pond where we'll keep them so that when we go fishing there's no need to come down here and tow the net every day we just take them from the pond and they were very shallow here we we're just kissing the bottom as we go over the reef where the the sandy reef where the eels hopefully are but we're going to get them we'll put them in the net there you go um the the when you do this trawling, the, the secret is do everything very slowly and think about it before you haul the net. Think about which way, to, if there's any wind, is, it, is the boat going to be swept down over on the net around the propellers? And everything is done methodically and slowly and, ho and safely, which is obviously the number one priority. Right, I better watch what I'm doing now. It's going to be a bit shallow, so there you go. So there's a nice view there. Right, so the guys are now hauling the lines up either side of the net, laying them out so they don't tangle. So when for the next shoot, they, lay, they go out as they should and no tangles. So the guys are behind me, laying the lines. You can see the boys in the distance coming up from the net. You can't see the guy to my right, but there's a lot of puffing and panting from him. I think he's a bit unfit. Aren't you, Pat? Doing a sterling job he is, really, for an old boy. So it's going to get slightly harder for the guys as they get nearer the net. So the boards are coming on board now, either side of the boat. So this is the fun time, what's going to be in the net? That's what we're all looking for and waiting for. The birds are absolutely going nuts above me. You can see the cod end coming up now. And you look at the eels in the back of that cod end, absolutely fantastic. The birds are going nuts, it's absolutely brilliant. I'll get out of the guy's way so they can get the net aboard. They're shaking the net, making sure there's nothing trapped in it, getting rid of some of the weed as it comes up.
We're just done doing the cod end, just so you can release the uh, eels and everything else that's in the bottom of the uh, net. Look at all those lovely eels. Lovely. Got to be careful of the weaver fish as well. Making sure you don't hurt your hands. That's the last thing you want is a weaver sting. It bloody hurts. So the guys just get rid of some of the, most of the weed and they transfer it over to the table here and they'll probably sort the uh, eels out then and get them in the uh, live bait tank to keep them in good condition. So there we go. Look at that, a nice little flounder there as well. That's gone back in. Look at that, oh, hey, look at that, they're everywhere. Absolute beauties they are, look at them, beauties. There we go, look at those, beautiful things, beautiful. I'll put it back. So as you see, the guys are getting rid of weed, there's a fair bit of weed in there, so it's just a matter of sorting it out. So, lovely cuttlefish, lovely cod bait that would be. But the skipper does like to eat them instead, actually. He'd probably fire that up a bit later, that one. With a bit of chilli. With a bit of chilli, as Pat said, you're right. Me, personally, I think we should use it for cod bait instead of we eating it, but each their own. Braving it without the gloves, but if he gets stung, I will laugh. There's another one, another cuttlefish. We've got a few crabs as well. One of those, whatever they are. What? Oh yeah, baby, cuttle. baby cuttlefish that. So as you can see, it takes a little bit of sorting out all this, but the, the guys are getting there. Well worth the effort. I don't know if you can see the birds in the old uh, sky there, they're going absolutely nuts around this boat, absolutely nuts, they can't wait to get feed. And you'll see them as they get throw the stuff over the side that they don't need. It's a free feed for the old birds, I'm sure they're very happy. So you can see there's quite a few in there, the old eels, so we're looking good. So while the guys are uh, sorting the eels out, the skipper's going to uh, tie the cod end up. 
which he's doing now. He's tied the cod ends over the back of the boat and he's going to shoot the net again. Just for show you what the guys have found, found a lovely baby brill. There we are, that's going back, that's the next generation of our fish catch. So again, you can see the net getting uh, out the back of the boat, ropes are going out quite nice, no tangles. So done the right way, this can be done by one person shooting a net. As you've seen, nice and slow, methodical, no rush. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. And there we go again. The net's out, lines are tall, and here we go again. Second shoot of the day. So the guys have nearly got through all the weed and sorting out the crabs and bits and pieces. As you can see, there's a fair amount of eels, which is really nice to see. And uh, we'll see them going to the live bait tub in a bit. Right, so we're putting the eels in the uh, live bait tank now. As you can see, they're going in. Lively as hell. Give them a wash out. We'll be we'll looking at the tub in a minute and see what they look like. So, yeah. So we're going we're to wait till the water settles. Yeah, okay. Look at those lovely beauties, eh? Absolutely fantastic. Live as as hell. They're bass catchers, if anything else. Right, so we've done the second tow. We're now on the haul up. The guys are bringing the ropes in. The skipper's putting the boat slightly in reverse to take off a bit of the strain of the ropes and give the guys a bit of an easy ride. He's a nice skipper like that. Thoughtful. He's very thoughtful.
So it takes a bit of work to get the ropes up. As you can see, the guys have uh, put it into the rope, get it going. As you can see, the boys are coming up towards the back of the boat. The otter boards are now coming aboard. So what everyone's waiting for again is, is the native come aboard and see what's in that cod end. So the skipper's just taken out a reverse, so we don't get the net stuck in the uh, propeller. So just shaking the net out again, getting rid of some of the excess weed and anything else I need to get rid of. And we'll bring it forward. And we'll see what's in the cod end. So the guys are just shaking the net at the moment, just getting the sand eels to go down into the cod end and just get rid of some rubbish, any weed and anything else that needs to get rid of. And uh, as you can see, the cod end is nicely balled up, which is a good sign. So again, quite a bit of weed, plenty of eels, some nice crabs, and no doubt there's some of the other species of fish in there as well. And they've seen a weaver already, so they're gonna get the weaver out, so no one gets stung by the weaver, because it bloody hurts if you get stung by a weaver. There you are. There's the weaver, that's going over the side of the boat, horrible things. He's a brave man, Pat, as I tell you. So the guys again are going to sort out all the weed and the crabs and all the rest of it. Come out of your way. Oh, another one. Another weaver.
nice spider crab as well. Yeah. Going, back to the sea. Going back to the sea. Gone. Look at the size of that beauty. Beautiful, lovely big eel. There we go. Look at that. Nice brill. Nice sole. Gonna go back in the back in. There we go. Another horrible weaver going back over. So again, looking like some nice quality eels in there. So there's the live bait town, absolute teeming with sand eels in there, as you can see in there. The water's coming through this pipe here, and you can see the holes around there where the water's coming back out so the eels can't get and escape there's plenty of them around they're looking really healthy really thriving absolutely fantastic and you can see the water coming out around the side there so you've got continuous fresh seawater flowing around for the eels keeping them very nice and healthy condition and there'll be a load more to go in there again in a minute So you can see the skipper here, he's sorting his net out before he puts it away. Make sure it's all clean. All the eels are out, they're dead or anything like that, you don't want. So it's all nice and clean for ready when he shoots it for his next uh, session out there. You, you don't want a dirty net, that's for sure. And what he'll do is, he'll lay it in that box there, no doubt, once he's cleaned it all out. So as you see, he's placing the net all very nice. So it's all nice and uniform as it goes in. So as he pulls it out, it all pays out as it should and there's no tangles, no hookups. Right there we go. So uh, the skipper's going to uh, get, get, well, get his dinner ready. Basically, he's going to get out uh, one of those beauties. Hang on. 
got a buggy. There we go, something for the budgie, look. Who has budgies nowadays? Do anyone have budgies anymore? Who knows? Budgie smugglers, one of the skipper, one of your uh, crewmates here was saying. He's wearing them apparently. Look at this. Look at they love that. As you can see, it's, it's dirty work doing the old uh, cuttlefish, but it's got to be done. That's wear gloves, otherwise your black gets under your fingernails and that's there for weeks. So there's the eggs, you can see there, plenty of black ink, right messy jobs. So as um, Pete rightly said, make sure you're wearing gloves if you're doing this, otherwise you have ink on your fingernails and all the rest of it for weeks to come, sort of thing. So, you're just cleaning up the, uh, getting all the skin off and cleaning it up as best you can. He's gradually pulling the skin off. He's getting there slowly. There we go. Slippery work doing that. Uh, give them a good old rinse off, get rid of some of that black ink and then all the rest of the skin, what's left over. Yeah. So as Pete said, what he'd do is he, he tidied that up at home there now, make it a lot better and then uh, it make a nice little dinner out of that, no doubt. No doubt that'd be fried off with a little bit of ginger and a little bit of chilli, no doubt. Cut it into strips. Cut it into strips. Lovely, jubbly. So... Pete's just going to clean up the boat now, as you can see, it's pretty inky and horrible, so he'll just clean it all up, get it all ship shape and, and give the birds a feed as well. Look at all the birds there, all waiting for a little bit of breakfast. Right, so we're back around here. So what you didn't know is that the skipper sings us a tune for the eels. He has, every time he goes out, he's got to get the old air box and do us a tune. So give us a tune.
Whee! So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. Great skip. I've had a fantastic morning there with the guys catching some eels and crabs and all the bits and pieces. Absolutely fantastic. The skipper's going to go bassing, no doubt, very soon. He's going to free some eels down as well. So, as I said, he's a skipper. Got a chart of boat as we're on now. So, if you want to go out fishing and catch some bass, Sportsman's Night, it'll be in the description. Book yourself a trip. Hope you enjoyed, hope you'd like, thumbs up for everyone and uh, don't forget to hit the button subscribe.